Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Baer ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. Robert Emil Schmidt, best known as Buffalo Bob, host of the children's TV show Howdy Doody. Of course, he was born in Buffalo, New York. He'll explain how he got the job, how they did the show, developing the characters, and the voice of Howdy Doody. His first job was in radio at WGR in Buffalo. Hey kids, what time is it? Howdy Doody time! Does that bring back some memories there? Seems like I heard that before. <laughs> I guess. We're talking to Buffalo Bob. Buffalo Bob Smith from the old Howdy Doody program. How about that? When did Howdy Doody first air? Our first uh, telecast was on December 27, 1947. And, and we ran 2,543 shows through September 30, 1960. How did you get the job as Buffalo Bob? Well, uh, I was doing the morning show. I was on, uh, on NBC. I was on Monday through uh, Saturday from 6 to 9 in the morning. And I had also done a kids' radio show on Saturday morning where I had used this little character called Howdy. And at the time, in the uh, mid, well, the end of 47, NBC was looking for a, a, somebody to do some sort of a kids' show on television. And they had a puppet show in mind, so they watched my radio show and they thought, hey, this is good, we'll make another puppet and call him Howdy Doody and then let Smith host the whole thing. So that's how it started. Howdy and I were uh, uh, more or less MCs, co-MCs of the show. And then we phased out the other puppets and brought in our own, you know, Mr. Bluster and Dilly Dally and, and the Inspector and uh, Flub-a-Dub and so forth. And just had a great run for 13 years. Bob, who did the voice of uh, Howdy Doody? I did, but I, I always pre-recorded it, see. Oh. Uh, when we first started in television, uh, we'd keep one camera on Howdy all the time. And then I would only talk for Howdy when I would see a monitor that he was the only one in the picture that I would talk for him, because I'm not a ventriloquist. In other words, I move my lips when I talk for him. So later we found out it was simpler to uh, record the puppets' voices, and I could be in the same pictures uh, with the puppets. Matter of fact, I could even sing duets with Howdy Doody, which I did many times. Say, kids, what time is it? Oh, Buffalo Bob, I know. It's time to hear Bob Barry. <laughs> okay, thanks, Buffalo Bob, and we'll see you at the City of Festivals parade. Bob, thanks. Maybe we'll do a promotion because I love those Milwaukee restaurants. And Howdy Doody, goodbye to you. Oh, and we'll see you on television. Thank you, Bob. Hey, kids, what time is it? Howdy Doody time! Thank you for listening to Bob Berry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Berry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Barnes.